Hello, my friends. Today, I would like to speak with you about a topic that shapes our lives and influences our connections, the powerful combination of words and emotion. You see, what makes language powerful? The simple answer is emotion-filled words. Yes, words alone can carry weight, but they become truly impactful when they are infused with the spectrum of human emotion, hate, love, anger, compassion, and everything in between. Let's explore this together. Emotion is the force that makes language effective. It compels action, addresses problems, and helps us find solutions. Imagine giving a speech devoid of passion. It might be technically correct, but it lacks the spark that inspires change. Without emotion, our words can be like a flat tire, unable to carry us forward. It's the intensity behind our words that breathes life into our communication. Now let's delve deeper into the complexity of human emotion. Sometimes we find ourselves in a position where we must combine love and hate in the same breath. Think about the conversations you have with those you care about. For instance, how often do we say to our children, I love you, but I hate what's happening. This duality is vital for them to grasp our feelings, both positive and negative. We might tell them, I love you, but I hate where you're going, or I love you, but I hate who you're around. It can be incredibly challenging to convey such mixed emotions, yet we must express them clearly. Ignoring these feelings is not an option. It diminishes the depth of our relationships and the clarity of our communication. Let's pause and consider the concept of intensity. Picture a word as a simple straight pin. If I threw that pin at you, you'd feel it, wouldn't you? It's a gentle reminder that I've touched you with my words. But imagine if I took that same pin and attached it to an iron bar. Suddenly, that little pin could drive straight through your heart. The pin represents the word, and the iron bar symbolizes the emotion. When words are backed by strong emotions, they become significantly more potent. Emotions enhance the effectiveness of our communication. It's not just about what we say, it's how we say it. But remember, my friends, that emotions must be measured. It's like a well-crafted play or a captivating movie. It requires balance. You wouldn't need an atomic explosion to make a small point. In leadership, we learn not to use a cannon to shoot at a rabbit. The power is there, but you'll have no more rabbits if you go overboard. It's essential to recognize when to dial up the emotion and when to tone it down. Imagine a teacher who passionately shares knowledge with their students. If they are too intense about every single lesson, students may become overwhelmed and disengaged. However, if they reserve their emotional intensity for key moments, those moments become unforgettable. You also don't want to underplay your emotions. If you're addressing a significant point but deliver it with little feeling, your words lose their impact. Picture a leader giving a motivational speech to inspire a team. If they stand there monotonously reciting the facts without passion, how can they expect their audience to feel inspired? It's a skill we can all cultivate, knowing the right amount of intensity to apply to our words. Well-chosen words, combined with the right emotions, form the foundation of effective communication. Now, you may wonder where this intensity comes from. It stems from our experiences, where we've been, what we've seen, and how we've felt. Our triumphs and tribulations contribute to our emotional reservoir. Have you ever listened to someone recount a story that brought you to tears or made you laugh until you cried? That's the power of emotional storytelling. Their experiences resonate with us, triggering our own emotions and connecting us on a deeper level. This intensity must be readily accessible, not buried deep within us. It should be on the surface, ready to blend with our language. That's the hallmark of an effective communicator. A skilled speaker knows how to tap into their emotional reservoir, allowing their feelings to shine through their words. They know that when they speak from the heart, they create a bond with their audience. This connection is what makes communication transformative. As we think about this powerful combination of words and emotion, let's not forget the importance of authenticity. When we communicate, it's vital to be genuine. People can sense when emotions are feigned or insincere. Authenticity fosters trust and respect, making it easier for others to engage with us. When you share your true feelings, you invite others to do the same, 
creating an environment where open communication thrives. Now let's consider the practical applications of this concept. How can we harness the power of words and emotions in our daily lives? First, we must be intentional in our communication. Every time we speak or write, we have an opportunity to influence those around us. Choosing our words carefully is crucial. It's not just about what we say, but how we say it. When crafting our messages, we should consider the emotions we want to convey. Are we offering encouragement, expressing concern, or sharing joy? The clarity of our intent can greatly affect how our words resonate with others. By thinking deeply about our language, we can ensure our messages are not only understood, but felt. Second, it's essential to think about the context in which we communicate. Different situations call for different tones and approaches. For instance, a casual conversation with a friend might allow for humor and lightheartedness, while a serious discussion about performance at work requires a more measured and respectful tone. By adapting our language to fit the circumstances, we show that we care about the feelings of others and respect the gravity of the conversation. This intentionality fosters a deeper connection and helps ensure our words have the desired impact. Third, practice active listening. Communication is a two-way street, and understanding how others feel allows us to respond appropriately. By truly listening to what someone is saying without planning our response while they speak, we can better gauge their emotions and tailor our words to fit the moment. This kind of empathetic engagement shows that we value their perspective, and it creates an atmosphere of trust and openness. When people feel heard, they are more likely to reciprocate and engage meaningfully, making our exchanges richer and more impactful. In addition, we should practice empathy in our daily interactions. Empathy allows us to step into another person's shoes and view the world through their eyes. When we take the time to understand what someone is experiencing, whether they are facing joy, frustration, or sadness, we can respond with greater sensitivity and insight. This approach enables us to choose our words more carefully as we become attuned to the emotions that are present in the moment. By validating others' feelings through our language, we build a stronger connection and foster a sense of belonging. Additionally, empathy involves recognizing our own emotions as well. When we are in tune with our feelings, we can express ourselves more authentically and compassionately. This authenticity not only enhances our communication, but also encourages others to open up. For example, if a colleague is struggling with a project, showing empathy might involve saying, I understand this is challenging for you. I've been there too. This shared understanding creates a bond and encourages an open dialogue, leading to collaborative problem solving. Furthermore, empathetic communication can transform difficult conversations into opportunities for growth. When addressing sensitive topics, such as feedback or conflict resolution, approaching the discussion with empathy can diffuse tension. Instead of being confrontational, we can frame our words to focus on shared goals and mutual respect. By acknowledging the other person's feelings and perspective, we pave the way for constructive dialogue, which ultimately strengthens relationships and enhances teamwork. Besides, we must embrace vulnerability in our communication. Being open about our feelings and experiences can be daunting, yet it is a powerful way to connect with others. When we share our struggles, triumphs, and even our fears, we show our humanity. This vulnerability invites others to do the same, creating a safe space for honest dialogue. For instance, if you're giving a presentation and share a personal story about overcoming a challenge, your audience will likely resonate with your experience and feel more connected to you. This connection can transform the entire atmosphere of the conversation. Furthermore, embracing vulnerability encourages authenticity in our relationships. When we allow ourselves to be seen, imperfections and all, we inspire others to be genuine as well. This authenticity fosters trust and deepens connections, making our interactions more meaningful. By expressing our true selves, we create a culture where others feel safe to express their thoughts and emotions openly, leading to stronger bonds and enhanced collaboration. Last but not least, vulnerability in communication can be a catalyst for change. When leaders share their failures and lessons learned, it encourages their teams to take risks and learn from their mistakes. By modeling vulnerability, we demonstrate that it's okay to be human, which in turn promotes a culture of growth and resilience. 
This environment allows for innovation as team members feel empowered to voice their ideas and challenge the status quo. Embracing vulnerability not only strengthens our connections with others, but also drives us toward collective success. In conclusion, the powerful combination of words and emotions is a transformative force in our lives. By being intentional in our communication, we unlock the potential to inspire, motivate, and connect with others on a deeper level. Practicing empathy allows us to forge genuine relationships where our words resonate with understanding and compassion. And by embracing vulnerability, we create an environment where authenticity thrives, fostering trust and encouraging open dialogue. As we move forward, let us remember that our words carry weight. They can uplift or undermine, inspire action, or create barriers. It is our responsibility to wield this power wisely. Each conversation is an opportunity to make a difference, to leave a lasting impression, and to foster connections that enrich our lives and the lives of those around us. So let us speak with intention, listen with empathy, and communicate with vulnerability. In doing so, we not only harness the power of words and emotions, but also cultivate a world where understanding and compassion reign. Together, we can create a future where our interactions are filled with purpose and our words truly have the power to change lives. Thank you.